Hey, I'm Andy, and we're back with Oscar Rain 1, and we're gonna continue off trying new heroes that I recently unlocked in. I think one of them was the Huntress. I have played the Commando, the Sniper, the Bandit, and Accurate. And Accurate was really fun. We were we were so close to getting the the final to finishing the final stage, but let's just try the Huntress. I really liked her in Risk of Rain 2, so I don't know how different it's gonna be in this one. So let's just do medium difficulty, no artifacts, and so I run into this. So we start off in the desolate forest, and I can shoot while moving, which is good. Because I think all the other ones just usually would stop while, uh, well, just shooting. <laughs> this one doesn't have like the auto aim like it does in Risk of Rain 2, but. We'll see how we'll see how things go. We're already taking a lot of damage. I feel like the Huntress does not have a lot of health compared to Accurate. I mean, given the fact that Accurate is more of a melee. I don't know if they all start with the same health. I don't think they do. But we haven't even found a chest yet, so I'm gonna explore left. See if there's anything. Oh, well, there's an RNG shrine. So it seems like my ult has a very low cooldown, which is good. Come on. And that gave me nothing. I gotta wait for more... I need to wait for more uh, enemies. Alright, hopefully it'll give me something now. Yeah, it did. It gave me a safeguard lantern. I don't. Uh, I, think, I don't think I like that. I think I'm gonna switch it out one, given the op given the next opportunity. Cause I mean, fears is nice, but eh, it is what it is. Seems like the also the the ricochet doesn't really bounce back. It's only what you only get one hit per creature. Squid. I don't think I've got. Uh, we don't have enough money. No, we do. Oh, why that? Get that rid of that mouse. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I feel like this is harder than the Risk of Rain 2 counterpart just because the one in 2 has the auto aim, I think. Get this, I don't know what it does. Hurt oh it's those. I'm not a big fan of that. Oh well. I guess uh, we're gonna move right. And I'm gonna bypass the RNG shrine just because it costs too much for what we have right now. Hopefully I can find some more chests on the right. But you never know. Yeah, there's one. Open this one first. Hey, there's a fruit. I think I'm gonna get the fruit. Oh, I, I whiffed on that. Oh, we are so little health. I'm gonna buy the fruit and use it. because I need the health. I wonder if I can get up there. I think I can using the that rope. Someone found the teleporter. I think the teleporter's gonna be on the top right or something. I'm gonna get this. Increase health regenerator. I kinda need that because I've been taking a lot of damage. So it seems like I can blink in midair, just like in the 
uh, Rescue Rain 2 counterpart. Which is good. There's another... I think that's the Eliminate Shrine, and there's the Teleporter. Alright, we got Gasoline. Is that a gold? Or is it just a normal? But it looks normal. We can get this one again. There we go. Boxing glove. Check this chance to knock enemies backwards. Oh, I don't like this wisp. At least I have my fruit. Okay, so we can activate this now. Yeah, let's activate this now. While it's still on easy mode. Who are we fighting? Wandering Vagrant. Oh, that's a big Wandering Vagrant. Alright, oh, working on that. See, I don't know how this is gonna work on bosses. I feel like this is more better suited with other people. <laughs> or this character, at least. I don't like this. I don't like this. I mean, if anything besides the water bring it would have been fine, I think. I just need to be more mobile, which is really hard in this game for me. I got him down to half. Oh, I whipped on that. I need to get that drone. There we go, we got the drone. Alright, we got... Let's switch. We got a Nemeth... Something about that. <laughs> I don't know what that does. So we got 13 enemies left. I'm going to try that uh, thing out on the enemies. Let's see how it goes. Let's try... Let's try it down there. Oh no. Oh, it's, it's what the Wandering Vagrant used. I like that. I wish I, get, I could get healing as well, but... It is what it is. So we got two enemies left. I see one. Just had to take the long way around because there's no easy way up. There's the two last enemies. I can't believe we survived it, but uh, the use the use item is pretty awesome, pretty neat. But all right, we can leave. I need to use that whenever I can. If there's like a group of enemies, so we're now in the fungal cavern. I'm gonna explore right first this time. I feel like the majority of things will be at at the bottom. Oh. at it. Oh, that's a massive leap. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Let's keep exploring right. There's a wisp. Let's keep the, the shooting at it for safety. Never 
mind. Let's use this. It, it, it does decent damage. Oh, the fungus. We got Guardian's Heart, so that's nice. The, the Lucky Clover is working. It's charm, so to say. Explore up top, see if there's anything. No, there's nothing up there. Alright, what can I get? Yeah. Let's get those enemies. Oh, that's a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Got frost relic. Oh, what is that? No. Please, no. Alright, we got a leeching seed though. That's nice. Alright, that's. Oh, we're gonna jump down. Take some damage. No, oh, two, like two months in a row, we're. We're, we're like flirting with death in terms of our health. Alright, one more. There we go. Oh, another one spawned. Banner's good, but let's go with oh fungus. I do not like the fungus in the in this game. I mean, like for so I've only seen one real use casing for it, and that hero is in the second one. I don't know if there's a hero in, in this first one that will benefit from it, but it doesn't seem like it because you have to be perfectly still and not firing anything. So. I don't know how that will work. Let's activate and then Magma Worm. This is better. Because the glaive will bounce through all the different parts, I would assume. Now, if it hits the mushroom, then that's a different story. Let's try it one more time. I feel like we had really good items, I just don't know how I feel about this character in the original in the in Risk of Rain 1. Oh yeah, if this was Risk of Rain 2, yeah, I'm, I'll be all for this character, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't uh I wasn't playing you know, I wasn't using my skills as much as I should. Because they do have low cooldowns, it's just that I just haven't been using them that much. So I mean, I, I I've been using them, but I, I don't know if I was playing optimally, so to say. Can I go up? Yes. Now I did get a bad item too. Let's use random. Mysterious vial. I will take it. Alright, show me more, show me more. I could try it on an easier mode than normal, but I feel like that would be too cheap. Like, I, I've proven that I can get to the end on medium, just not with this character. 
There's still the way here. Yeah, we're just gonna wait here. Hopefully more things will come. That's easy. Oh, we got the timer secret. Failing to low health stops time. Or falling to low health. Probably could have used that last in the last one. over here. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's a chest there. Okay. Could be worth it. If I had the money. So good. Our health hasn't fallen incredibly low. Right, so there's a 50 chest here. We don't have the money, so we're gonna wait. Hopefully more more will spawn. Not on the same platform. Two, two gold short. I could go down and kill that thing, but there's one right here. Oh, I, I, I fell anyway. Right, let's get rid of that. Oh, I'm not landing these jumps at all. I should be using my blink. see what this chest has or a 50 should be something good Ooh, Tesla coil but that didn't work I liked how it looks although I'm not sure about the damage on it but I guess the teleporter was on the bottom right I mean, I could go left, but I feel like that's not gonna help. Oh, it's up there. Am I safe up here? I don't think I'm safe up here. Maybe I'm safe. I'm probably safe up here. <laughs> I guess I was safe up here. Let's get rid of these monsters. Just gonna get rid of that wisp. That's gonna be annoying to deal with. I'm gonna go over here and deal with it. Alright, we done with it. Yeah, with the Tesla Club, everything is easy so far. <laughs> enemies to six enemies three and they're all up top of course they are 
All right, so this run is going a little bit better. The Tesla coil is helping. Oh, why did I blink? The Tesla coil is helping you out a lot. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, well, we'll just get rid of these two. Oh, that first level went by that, uh, better than the first event, first attempt. Oh, we're at the Fungal Haven again. Let's go left. Let's see if there's anything else left. There's a, a two chests, three chests. Okay, we're gonna stay here. Hopefully, mm. monsters will spawn. Hopefully, I won't die because of that. I'm gonna open the 160s first because I think they have they might have better things. The, the odds of them have better things are higher. I mean you're paying more, so I guess you get more in return. <laughs> I don't know. Where are the enemies? Not enough. We're about uh, a little bit under half. It's too bad the glaive doesn't bounce back to the same enemy. I would have loved it if it was switched between like two enemies, but it is what it is. That's so good. I mean, this ledge is helping out. All right, Redwood. Move fast out of combat. Uh oh. Now we got rid of that easily. Oh, you move super fast with the red whip in in this game. <laughs> it's crazy. Why is that not hitting? Gonna use the Tesla coil to rack up some kills. This is going pretty smoothly. <laughs> I fear what, who, what kind of boss I'm gonna be facing against. At 153, we're 10 gold shy of that chest. Wait it out. Alright, it's an infusion. I like that. Oh, I, I messed that up. I must have glaive. I do like that the ult is more AoE rather than individual target, but... Alright, what is that? Beating Embryo. Use items has a chance to have double effect. I don't even have a use item yet. I haven't found one. So we ventured all the way to the left. All that's left to know is venturing to the right. Obviously, I think the teleporter will be there. There are some more items here, though. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, the this character is really, really fragile, it seems like. Oh. Though I think it, what would help me if I had a syringe, but I never really found one. But Yeah, that was the Huntress in Risk of Red 1. It feels and plays completely different than 2, in my opinion, but... That's just me. But, uh, maybe if I played more, then I'll probably be better. Like I, I don't know like what what character's more OP compared to the other ones. Like to me, Akron seems the best out of the ones I played so far. 
So there's still the hand D, so it's not multi. It seems so we fire a drone that heals, gain drones by killing enemies, increase attack speed, increase duration by attacking enemies. Then the engineer auto turret so it does it does have two turrets like the other one but I don't know it, it doesn't say that it's gonna keep all the items that we had picked up so maybe they're just standard turrets so I don't know like, I don't know how these play but I'm, I'm gonna try more in the future so today was just the huntress and apparently I'm not really good <laughs> so until next time this has been another risk of rain episode hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and have a nice day